If your house has a fireplace, at the very least you need tight-fitting glass doors and better yet, a certified insert. It's important that your firewood be dry because it burns hotter and it creates less smoke. Many inserts or stoves come with a built-in fan, but you can also add other fans to circulate the heat through your house. And if the air to your fire can come directly from outside into the firebox, then it'll save you from the heated air of your living space going up the chimney. I love the sound of cedar splitting and the smell, of course, but any good dry wood that you can cut in small pieces will make good kindling. I clean off the ash clean out so that the air can get in through that directly under the fire, which helps the fire to burn hot. Otherwise, you can get your fireplace sucking cold air in through cracks in windows and doors through the room and into the fireplace. If it can come directly from outside into the firebox, you avoid that. I like to split my wood on a 90 degree angle whenever possible. I put the biggest piece in first, propped up so the air can flow around it. Then I build my fire in front of that and crisscross the kindling so that it gets going really good and it'll support the next log that you put on top of that. If your wood's not completely dry, it's good to set the wood around the fireplace to dry out for at least a few days or more before burning it. Sometimes if this is a big enough firebox, I can even put it inside the firebox to dry out. And I like to put a spacer, if necessary, to keep the lugs apart so that the uh, flame has plenty of room to get through and the air can circulate. Now with this arrangement, I open the front vent, which lets lots of air in to get that fire really cooking. And once it's burning good, then I can close that vent, and then the air will come in from directly outside the house. This fireplace was built back in the 50s and has a metal back and uh, air circulation behind the firebox where I added fans that'll circulate that air. It gets really hot, puts out quite a bit of heat, and it's a great place to sit right in front of those doors. We turn on the ceiling fan to blow the warm air that rises down into the room and also, I oftentimes turn on another fan that will blow air across the front of the fireplace, which extracts more heat and blows it around the house. Gets the whole house pretty warm that way. I split my wood earlier in the uh, spring before the leaves come out and split and stack it under a roof, uh, preferably in direct sunlight where it can dry thoroughly. And I've added double pane mylar to our double pane glass, so I really have four layers of glazing. Makes a huge difference. Keep an eye on your smoke and make sure it's actually illegal to have a very smoky fire for very long. I check my fire about every 20 minutes to half hour to make sure it's burning well. If you get smoke out of the fireplace when you open the doors, it could be that you have negative pressure in your house caused by either a dryer or exhaust fan blowing air out or air going up the chimney. So if you open a window just a little bit, then that'll let some air in to balance that pressure and allow no smoke to come into your room. So you want your fire to keep burning steadily, which requires about every 20 minutes to a half hour checking it and adding logs or adjusting the logs so that it's burning well. Usually two or three logs will pretty well warm up our whole house and that's all I need in a day. And we burn about one quart a year to keep our house warm. But we live in the Cascade Mountains. It rarely gets below 20 or 30 degrees around here. And we have an abundant supply of wood, so it's just a matter of cutting it, splitting it, stacking it, bringing it in, drying it out. 
And if you have any scrap plywood painted or pressure treated wood, it's really better to just throw that in the garbage. You don't want to burn that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned some things. Feel free to watch our other videos, to share it with people, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.